Hey guys, it's me, Sam. Okay, we're going on a dangerous dive down deep in there to check out a species of fish that's been ruling the waves since the age of the dinosaur. Have you seen it? It has beady eyes, a pointy fin, really sharp teeth, and it likes to patrol the waters. That's right, you guessed it. It's a giant shark? You mean this little guy? Okay, well, maybe a not so dangerous dive. Come on, let's go. I've been diving in oceans all around the U.S. But today, I'll be diving the Atlantic Coral Reef Tank to check out the bonnethead shark. But before I suit up, let's talk with National Aquarium Dive Safety Officer, Josh Veranda. Tell me how you got inspired to scuba dive and get involved in the National Aquarium. Funny enough, my earliest inspiration was actually the National Geographic. They produced a documentary on sharks back in 1982, and that was when I first discovered my, uh, my deep love for sharks. Josh sounds like the perfect guy to teach us about the bonnethead. Another safety diver, Holly, is going to join us. Let's go check out this shark. The bonnethead likes to hang out in the dark areas of the tank. Josh is showering these blue tangs with gravel, which creates a gentle scratching sensation that actually feels good to the fish. Kind of like a back scratcher. But where's the bonnet hat? Look, there it is! Every time I try to get close, it just swims away. Maybe Josh or Holly will have better luck. It's much smaller than I thought, and it kind of looks like a little hammerhead. Very cool. Yeah. How are you? That was awesome. I loved it. Josh, you're the shark guy, right? I'm a big shark guy. So we have the one bonnet head in here. That's and correct. the behavior of this bonnet head is a little bit different than the behavior of most bonnet heads in the wild. Can you explain that to us? And in the wild, bonnet heads would normally have a coastal or estuary waters. It's meaning that they want to have some of those flat out open areas near the shore or along the coast, which is why he tends to prefer this section of the tank. Okay, so how, how big is full grown for a bonnet head, would you say? You would normally expect the average adult bonnet head to be about maybe three, three and a half feet. So that's kind of small. If you compare it to a hammerhead, which max size is maybe, what would you say? The max size for the great hammerhead, which is the largest of the family, is about 19 or 20 feet. Wow. That's really long. These bonnet heads are really tiny. Mm -hmm. It's been fun learning about the bonnet head. Let's head to the Black Tip Reef where we can learn more about other sharks. I just had an amazing session with my dive buddy, Josh. Now we're at the Black Tip Reef and we can see some new sharks here. What do we have down here? Here in the Black Tip Reef, we actually have several species of sharks including the black tip reef sharks for which this exhibit gets its name. We also have two species of wobegong sharks. Did he just say wobegong? The tassel wobegong, and we have two ornate wobegongs. There are so many species of sharks that I didn't know about. And lastly, we have one of my favorite sharks, the zebra shark, and we have two of them as well, uh, our large female Zoe and our young male Zeke. What would happen if we didn't have sharks? More species equals more diversity, which means a much healthier, much richer environment. 
So if sharks are absent, the animals and fish that they consume, their populations will grow and they will consume more resources and occupy more space in these coral reefs. And that means that there's less space and less food for other animals. Who knew that the shark species could be so diverse and have such an impact? Josh, it's been such an amazing opportunity learning all of this stuff about sharks that I didn't know before. What did we learn? We learned that bonnetheads, on average, only grow up to three to four feet long. And they're vital to our marine ecosystem. And this little guy is a member of the hammerhead family. Sharks come in all shapes and sizes and aren't so scary after all. Until next time, everybody.